Good morning, boys and girls. It's me, Auntie Allison. And guess what? My faithful assistant, Sophie. Sophie wanted to join us today. He wanted to learn about the animals. <gasps> Are you wondering what we're going to read about today? Let me show you. We are going to read about the caterpillar and the pollywog. Whoa. What? That's not a caterpillar. That's not a pollywog. That's a bird and a turtle. That's not right. Hold on, hold on. They gave me the wrong stuff. Let me see. So now we're going to read about the Caterpillar and the Pollywog. That's a frog and a butterfly. What do a frog and a butterfly have to do with a Pollywog and a caterpillar? I don't know. Let's find out. Boys and girls, I'm so excited. This is a book by Jack Kent called the caterpillar and the pollywog. Now, what does a pollywog look like? What's another name for it? Let's wait. We'll answer that when we finish. Okay. Caterpillars aren't like other folks as ducks and hippopotamuses and you and I go, we get older and we get bigger, especially hippopotamuses, but not caterpillars. They turn into oh, butterflies. That's what our butterfly had to do. Turning into something else like that is not a thing just anybody can do. Down by the pond, there lived a caterpillar who was very proud of being different. She bragged about it to all of her friends. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the snail. That's nice, said the snail, who really didn't care one way or the other. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, said the turtle. She told the turtle. I don't blame you, said the turtle, who didn't much like wiggly things. When I grow up, I'm going to turn into something else, she told the pollywog. <gasps> what fun, said the pollywog. What are you going to turn into? But the caterpillar hurried on her way, looking for someone else to tell her secret to. I wish I could turn into something else when I grow up, said the pollywog. You will, said the fish. All pollywogs do. <gasps> what am I going to grow up into? The pollywog asked. But the fish saw a tasty bug and dashed after it. When I grow up, said the caterpillar, who had circled the pond and was going around for the second time. When I grow up, she told the pollywog again, I'm going to turn into something else. So am I, said the pollywog. You? The caterpillar was so surprised. She almost fell into the pond. 
The fish said so, the pollywog told her. And fish know things. They go to school. The caterpillar was so upset. I thought only caterpillars could do it, she said, rather sadly. What are we going to turn into, the pollywog asked. Well, I'm going to turn into a butterfly, said the caterpillar. Then I guess I will too, the pollywog said happily. What fun! Let's do it together. All right, the caterpillar agreed, although she would rather have done it alone. But I get to go first. The pollywog didn't mind. He wasn't at all sure how this was done. I'll watch you, he said. So when the time came, the caterpillar started to spin a cocoon. This is the tricky part, she said. Now, what's another name for cocoon? That's right, chrysalis. Very good. The pollywog watched as the caterpillar spun. Soon, only her head was uncovered. Now I have to close the lid, she said. And when I come out, I'll be a butterfly. That's right. <gasps> Go ahead, said the pollywog excitedly. I want to see you do it. It will take a while, said the caterpillar. And she started spinning again and was soon out of sight in the cocoon. For a long time, nothing happened, but the pollywog was patient. He watched and watched and watched. Do you see anything different about the pollywog over here? What do you see? Oh, that's right. He's getting legs. What do you think he's turning into? Let's find out. For days and days and days, he watched. Look at him. Oh, he's got back legs. He's getting front legs. And what's happening to his tail? That's right. It's getting shorter. Do you think it's going to disappear? I don't know. Let's see. At last, there was activity in the cocoon. The end of it opened, and very slowly, the caterpillar climbed out. Caterpillar? Only, she wasn't a caterpillar anymore. She was a butterfly, a beautiful yellow butterfly. The pollywog was so excited that he hopped up and down with delight. He hopped up and down like a frog. That's right. I was so busy watching you, he said. I didn't notice what was happening to me. You're a very handsome frog, the butterfly said, as she flew off to try her new wings. 
But the frog was puzzled. I thought I was going to be a butterfly, he said. Oh, poor frog. A caterpillar wiggled by. When I grow up, he said proudly to the frog, I'm going to turn into something else. But the frog wasn't listening. He's looking at himself. He was admiring himself. He was admiring his reflection in the water. I am, you know, a very handsome frog, he said. So, boys and girls, what did we learn today? A caterpillar becomes a what? It becomes a butterfly. That's right. It goes through what we call a life cycle. That's right. So we have the life cycle of the caterpillar and he ends up as a butterfly. Now, the other animal we learned about was a polywog. And a polywog becomes a frog. That's right. Now, what is another name for polywog? Does anybody know? That's right, tadpole. I always called them tadpoles growing up. And I loved going to the creek and catching those tadpoles and putting them in a little animal catcher and watching them turn into frogs and then letting them go. Oh, it was so much fun. I was watching the what? The life cycle of the frog. That's right. Now, boys and girls, there is one part of that life cycle that we did not see. Can anybody think of what it was? If you heard the very hungry caterpillar, you might know how they start. That's right, from an egg. A frog lays its egg in the water. And a butterfly usually lays its egg on a leaf. Boys and girls, listen to this. I have another video. Actually, I have two. I have a video, another video on the caterpillar and the polywog. And we learn how to make the life cycle of the butterfly. And then the second part, another video, is the life cycle of the frog. Boys and girls, please encourage your parents to let you go and see those two videos and make your own life cycles. I hope you enjoyed this book today and I can't wait to see you again. Have a great day. Bye.